Okay, so here I've got a diagram of Earth, Uranus, and Venus to illustrate their axial tilts. And the um, axial tilt as measured in degrees is the difference between the solar plane, so the axis of the sun's rotation and the axis of the orbit of all the planets, that solar disk, uh, that's vertical. And so the Earth's axis is tipped 23 degrees off of that. Uranus, as we saw in our homework, um, was tipped 97 degrees, and then Venus is 177. So it's pretty much upside down. And if you look at the um, retrograde motion of Venus, it's not necessarily that it spins backwards. It's that because it spins in the same direction as all the other planets, but it's been tipped all the way upside down, then it rotates in the opposite direction as all the other planets rotate. So this is the retrograde rotation of Venus and what it means. So this orbital and rotation period um, are very different in terms of their length than the Earth. So the retrograde rotation, uh, the time that it takes to spin around the axis is 243 Earth days. And the orbit of Venus is 225 Earth days. So those are fairly similar. Um, and so the sidereal day, right, the time it takes to spin around its axis one time is actually longer than its year, which is pretty unusual. Um, and its solar day, if you think about, you know, its, its rotation and its orbit take a similar amount of time, then the time that one point on this, like an observer pointing toward the sun will again be pointing toward the sun on the other side of their orbit, um, that will be about half of a year. So it's as if you have, you know, two sun rises and sunsets every year, and that's it. Uh, so that's Venus. Um, I can't remember who it was, but someone in the forum a while back um, kind of compared Mercury to a hot dog roasting on one of those little turntable things. And I think this is a little bit more true of Venus where it's you know constantly rotating just very slowly, um, like on a spit and just getting toasted by the sun the whole time. And it has a very thick atmosphere, so it hangs on to that heat unlike Mercury, which has you know the extreme differences on the day and night side of the planets.